Now we're going to sew on denim. I know a lot of us uh, hem jeans or men jeans for people and um, denim can be a difficult fabric to work with because you start, when you start getting into lots of layers it can be difficult for some machines to handle that. This machine does a beautiful job with it. So this is a woven fabric, denim, denim is a woven fabric so we're going to choose woven heavy which is button C over here on the right and then I'm going to choose stitch one. Now some things have changed on the screen again. So right here it's telling me that I want to use a size 90 needle. I'm not going to do that right now for today but I would highly recommend you do that. Again it's changed the tension. We were at 4.0 for that stretch trico. Now we're at 5.0 and it's telling me I need to change that presser foot pressure back to N. So I'm going to just reach over here and do that and the N I know is horizontal there. The sewing machine means we're in sewing mode and we have selected fabric C, stitch number one. And looking at our foot, it looks like we need to change feet. So I want to show you what the B foot looks like. Lots, a lot of times people will ask me, well, the B foot and the A foot look so much alike. What's the difference between them? And there are a few. The first and most obvious one is if you turn them over, the A foot is smooth on the back and the B foot has a groove in it. That groove is designed to go over heavier weight fabrics or decorative satin stitches. So the machine is smart enough to know when you select a certain type of fabric and a certain type of stitch that you're going to want to use the B foot. A couple of other changes or I guess one other main difference is that there are more markings here on the B foot than on the A foot and these can come in handy for applique and things like that some of our decorative sewing. So I'm going to take the B foot. To put the B foot on, there's a, to change feet, I've just been doing it and didn't explain it, but there's a little bar right here on the foot. That bar goes right into the gap here. Let me get my left hand out of the way. Into this gap here in the ankle on the machine. So I'm just going to take the foot. I'll try to do this right-handed for you. Um, not going to happen. I'll line it up. There we go. I've got it lined up and now I'm going to push that foot in and that's all it takes to attach the foot. I'm going to take my thread through the foot and to the back and I should be ready to go. Um, I'm going to create now what we call kind of a fake flat filled seam which means uh, you know that seam that often goes along the side of our denim jeans. Um, this is usually a three layer piece so I'm going to stitch along the edge of this, do a little top stitch along the edge of that. So we're going to be sewing and before I do, I would, said I would mention the fix button. The machine is set to, in sewing, to default with the fix button on. Um, what that fix does is it secures your stitches for you. It'll stitch about four or five stitches right in place so you don't need to do a reverse to anchor your stitches. And as soon as I finish that, if you watch right here, that fix button goes off. Now what I'm going to do this time, this is our needle up, needle down button. I'm going to press this so that when I stop sewing the next time it will stop with the needle down. That's a wonderful feature that I couldn't live without anymore, I think, because you can come and make adjustments to your fabric without losing your spot on your needle. So I'm just going easily through those three layers of um, denim. I'm going to go down the other side just so that we have kind of uh, the look and feel. This would probably normally be in blue or gold um, uh, thread. I'm using a dark green, but so you can't see it very well. I'm sorry about that. But I'm just going to stitch down the other side of that flat felt, fake flat felt seam, cut my threads and lift the foot up and now I've got that three layers tacked down there. So when you're doing a denim a hem on a pair of jeans that have one of those seams in them, a rolled hem is going to look like this. So you're going to roll up three layer, roll it up once to get that raw edge out of the way and that's three layers turns into six layers here in the middle and then I'm going to roll it up one more time so that we hide that raw edge 
And now I've got, instead of six layers, I've got nine layers of denim there. And that can be a problem for a lot of machines. But like I said earlier, this machine handles it beautifully. OK, I've still got needle down activated. So I'm going to put my foot down. It's going to do my fixed stitch. And I'm going to keep sewing. I'm going to sew until my foot starts to climb in the front like that. So now that it's come up like that, this is another reason why I recommend this multi-purpose tool. I'm going to take this tool, lift my foot up, slide. Uh, usually I put the narrow end of the, under there, although there are times when I've used the thicker end. So one end is uh, thinner than the other. Right now I'm just going to slide the thinner edge under there. Put the foot back down. So this goes right around the needle. Um, and the foot goes down on to, onto that, um, onto this multi-purpose tool. What that does, as you can see, is evens out the foot. So the machine, it kind of fools the machine into thinking that this isn't as thick as it really is. <laughs> I just let that multi-purpose tool fall off the back, um, finish my seam, and cut my thread. And I went through that nine layers of denim, as you see, with no hesitation, no broken needles. I didn't skip a stitch. It's beautiful. So um, this machine can handle all sorts of fabric for you.